I like that. We're here and we're clear because we want to just have a good time, relax, and not waste our time. Let me see if I push this little doofickey. Live chat. Let's see what happens. Welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your privacy. I don't know what all that means. Okay, I don't want to learn more about that right now. So let's uh let's get this party started because i want this to work i hope this works and uh cindy thanks so much for joining us i, I haven't seen you guys in so some time so hopefully fingers crossed here we just do things do what they're supposed to do like that'll be great right because everything else about adulting is bs and we just want to have a good time escape from that mess and just create y'all create i wish you guys we had smell a vision we need smell a vision because scratch and sniff hey ari Y'all, my favorite place to be. Hey, thanks for coming back, Kimberly. My favorite place as a kid, I can remember it is clear as day. We had this place called the New London Mall. The New London Mall. And they had a sticker store. Oh, I loved that place. Any money I had went there. And man, when they came out with a scratch and sniff, it was a, oh, it was game, game changing. Just watching your, you know, covering your eyeglass case. Oh, that, that, didn't that come out really pretty, Sandy? Hey, Sheila. Hey, Juby. Thanks for coming. Thanks for following me here. <laughs> I put a post out too. Probably won't get very far because it's got a YouTube link in it, but what the heck? Can't hurt to try, right? I just realized um, it's got a big dent in the side, but hey, Judy, you found me. I'm so glad you found me. I won't let you down, girl. I will not let you down. I promise. I wonder if we should iron this. Nah, we'll just dry it. We'll just dry it. We'll just dry it. Thanks for following me over yonder. I appreciate it. I just, I just want to create and not have you guys have to go in and out and up and down and all around and me freeze and good lord you know oh did you get my scissor about using double side i did i don't have any i don't have any double side tape that's a good idea that's a good idea but i think this will work this should work we'll see if it doesn't work i don't know i got i got like a pile of projects over here sometimes a dent's better than a cre there see way to look on the bright side of the things <laughs> the glass is half full um yeah, I'm going to put a layer of this stuff on here. It's probably going to soak it up pretty good. This is DIY Patina. Um, I like this um, because it's thin and smooth. And um, I don't know, it's not gummy. And Connie, you found me. Woohoo! Thank you for joining us over here. Um, I just, I don't know, I like it. My DIY dealer is Mara at VintageRetailTherapy.com. Um, she also has a Facebook page, which is Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. Um, and if you guys like mi mixed media, she's definitely your gal. You can definitely learn a lot from her. Cindy, thanks for sharing the video. Hey, Mary. Yes, if you guys could. I know I don't ask this like on Facebook and stuff, but it's important on YouTube because like we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But if you could hit the thumbs up and share, um, that would be fabulous. Hey, Terry. Um, you can... When you hit share, you can copy the link, share it to wherever you can, your Facebook page, wherever a group will let you. Um, if you have a YouTube, you might have a community page or a community section on your YouTube and you can share it there. Okay, I think that's gonna stick. I think that's gonna stick. I only did a little bit because I know this cardboard's gonna, so yeah. Oh, I might have to iron this. We might need more. Uh, thank you, Judy. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna plug the iron in just. Just in case, I'm, you know, I might have to put a layer of this patina down and then another. Hey, Michelle, we tried. You guys, we tried. We tried. Facebook failed us. We tried. What? I mean, what more can what more can we do? What more can we do? I mean, come on now. Um, is the top sticking? I don't know if it's sticking at all. <laughs> I, I'm gonna iron this a little bit before I carry on, just to see. Might have to put a layer down, dry it, and then put another layer down so it has like. You know what I mean? This thing gets hot pretty fast, so I'm gonna start ironing right out the gate. Way to recover! Yeah, I'm not fart. I'm not farting around no more. I'm not. Like I said, time is like that is the one thing in life that none of us have any. I don't want to say we don't have any control over it because we kind of do, but we don't. I mean, we cannot get it back. There's no do-overs. <laughs> like that second's gone. It's gone. I left because it was making me. Yes, it's not. We're not, we don't want to be mad here. We don't want to be mad. We want to have fun and relax and inspire one another, not, you know, fight with a stupid app. That's ridiculous. It, it's ridiculous. It's a billion, billions and billions and billions of dollars app. Come on. Get it together. Come on. 
All right, I just, I'm just doing this top area just to see if it's adhering at all. Oh, it is. Okay, we're good. Trust the process, Trace. That smells like burnt coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it smells like burnt coffee. You know what it is? I didn't give it a minute to... Um, yeah, we do have more fun over here. You guys, I am who I am, but you can curse a little over here. You can. You can. I mean, I'm sure somebody could report you, but I'm just saying... Just saying, you could say little bad words. So it's kind of fun, <laughs> kind of fun. I feel like, uh, I don't like a rebel. Like, you know, I could say ass. <laughs> I could say ass. <laughs> Not that that's a bad word. You see how, how uh, fast that heated up? Judy, thank you. Oh, I went, I went y'all. So I heat set, I heat set, I heat set the, sh the, 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 the two shirts today. Oh my God, I gotta tell you what happened. <laughs> so I heat set. The flannel, no problem. I heat set the Hubs' shirt, no problem. Oh, there's a problem. So I flip it over and I go to do the pocket. Uh, I think more creators need to, that's what you did. It was. I totally, Michelle, I totally agree. Bad monkey. <laughs> I totally agree. But people are afraid of change. There are people that will not touch Facebook with a 10 foot pole. There are people that won't, had I known um, thank you, Sheila. Had I known what YouTube is all about, I would have started there, but I feel like woulda, shoulda, coulda, I wouldn't be where I am without Facebook and the way things that they just happened. So I can't really say that, but I can change things now because I'm, I'm really tired of, I, I can't stand it when somebody, um, we're hanging on the wrong side of the tracks over here. <laughs> Very well said, Mary. You know, when someone complains about something over and over and over and over and over, but they don't do anything about it, it's like, you can't feel sorry for them anymore. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I'm not doing away with Facebook, but I'm not farting around. I'm not going to fight through a lie. That's stupid. It's just stupid. It really smells like burnt coffee now. So we got glue and the grungy <laughs> coffee dyed uh, fabric, and it smells like burnt coffee so I do know for those of you that are newer to YouTube or here now maybe it's for the first time if you don't have an account um, you can't comment but you can make an account it's just an email address and um, uh, no I didn't see her last night either uh, Kimberly but y'all better like to get the thumbs up before she gets here <laughs> she'll bust some heads um, just an email and a password, but it's going to ask you to subscribe to YouTube for like $4.99 a month or tr free trial or something. You can do that, but all what that is, which is worth it, I don't have it, but it's just so you don't see ads. So YouTube's totally free, but you just need a, you need a, um, an account, a login in order to comment. So if you're wanting to comment and you can't, that's probably why. I think this is good. Oh, this is good, y'all. This is good. Actually, it adhered pretty good. Uh, oh, she was here with Jim. She wrote She wrote a comment, and I didn't understand it. She was saying something about sharing to the community. I didn't get it. I, I reply. I hope she replies back to me because I didn't understand what she was saying, but I want to understand because she obviously knows. You had to download a different version in order to be... Oh, really, Connie? Oh, I, that, that could be true. If you haven't used it in a minute, I have all my apps set to auto-update. I got time for that. I got time for that. It's like a surprise. Uh, it's very easy to just skip the part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brenda, good night. I hope you sleep amazing. I hope you wake up making, feeling like a million bucks. Two million bucks. Yeah, Jim's a, yeah, Jim's a, he's a good dude. He's a really good dude. Lois from Vermont. My friend, I'm just getting these edges. I can still feel it's wet, so I want. I need to put a layer over this, so we need to get this bottom layer dry. Otherwise, we're just gonna be like, I hate. I feel like I'm ironing the wrinkles out, but I'm not because you can still see them. They look like wrinkles, but they're really. Oh yeah, they're a little wrinkly. They're wrinkles. <laughs> they're wrinkles like my face. So, anyways, the shirt. So I did the hub, the hub shirt, and I had um, parchment paper in the pocket. Well, yesterday I was telling you um, at first. Everybody thinks he's a creeper. He's hilarious. <laughs> he's, he's harmless. He's hilarious. Uh, Shonda. So yesterday he had on a white shirt and because he always says, I, 
oh, he's ruined the white shirts. He had a white shirt on and he, when he had one of those green caterpillars and he smacked it and it like put a big smear on his white shirt. <laughs> so he threw it in the laundry. I was laughing. I was like, oh, it'll come out. So I heat set his shirt. I do the pocket. I take the, I go to put it on the hanger and I take the parchment out and there's like a blood stain inside the pocket in the corner. I'm like, what the hell is that? And I'm thinking, oh, he must have tried this on and he got blood on it because he bleeds like, you can look at him and he bleeds. And um, I look on the parchment paper, there's a smashed, dead, ironed caterpillar. So I smashed him into the, into the inside of his pocket. I was laughing. I had to bring it to him and show him. I'm sweating again now. Um, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. I thought that was pretty funny. Oh, what are the odds? I didn't see it. I murdered it. I murdered it. Totally murdered it. Ironed it. But Summer, who do you who? You found me, Brenda. All right. I'm going to see if I need to uh, leave this on for spacing in here or just cut it off. Cut it off. This was the thick piece. This is a pretty thick piece. It was in here. Oh, this one. <laughs> what am I doing? I thought you were ironing. Tort yeah, it's a, it does look like a burrito shell, doesn't it? Or a tortilla. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if we could... Ooh, we could... Uh, can we... Can we decoupage on a burrito or tr uh, or a tortilla or <laughs> put transfers on a tortilla? It's gonna be pretty. It smells good. I think I'm just gonna let's see. I just want to see if this is too much stuffing. The more st oh, I think uh, that'll work. We're gonna go with that. We're not gonna even trim it. We're not even gonna trim it. We're going rogue. We're going rogue. All right, but we do need to put a layer of, it's starting to curl up. DIY patina over this, you're hungry. <laughs> it really does look like one. And you know what now? Now it's got, it's got all the squares on it. Um, could do a photo, <laughs> that's hilarious. A deco, now it's got little check. Can you see all the little uh, squares in it from the cardboard? We just added more texture and didn't even know it. Hmm. Huh. There's no squares in this cardboard, but apparently there is like underneath. Huh. Yeah, we could like put transfers on. Oh man, see, you just never know where inspiration comes from. You just never know. Like Shonda's looking at this like it's, we're gonna make burritos. I'm putting the, the oil on the burrito. Uh, I'm sealing it up, I'm sealing it up, sealing up our tortilla or burrito. I could go for a burrito. We had cheeseburgers tonight that were amazing. Um, they were so stinking juicy. And he made them on like like a log roll kind of. I fell asleep to your live on here last night. Did you get your needed hour? Summer! The last I checked. So like I said, I, they only update it like once a day. Maybe twice a day. I, I'm not really sure. Y'all, I need 35 hours. 35. I'm so freaking excited and I have all of you to thank. So thank you very much for that. Um, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy good. My dreams and goals are coming, coming true every day. Things are just getting better and better. Just when I think things can't get better, they do. And uh, I still feel like the best is yet to come. So, yep. So when I can qualify for it, then it's like a process and it could be like four to six weeks or sooner, but probably not. Um, in order to, to be qualified, you got to do all kinds of silly stuff, but, um, thank you, Kimberly. Yeah, I'm so excited. So I got to put a video, actually, you got to watch it. It is, you guys are going to love tomorrow's video. So there's, a, I think I got it set for seven in the morning. It's a pre-recorded. Um, so Brenda, um, when you, um, in order to monetize on certain, um, platforms, um, I know, can you believe that Sheila? 35. Oh, got glue. I mean, um, yeah. So I, so I was told the live hours don't count, but I don't know if I believe that. Now, shorts don't count towards um, sh shorts. Shorts are by themselves. You have to have ten million views on shorts in sixty days or four thousand hours of watch time. But I was told that the live, like right now, doesn't count. But uh, thank you, Shonda. Me too. I got my husband's phone going. Um, but whoever watches the replay live, but I don't know if that's true because we were just at 102 hours this time or yesterday. So I don't, 
I don't know. I don't know who in that world's getting 10 million short views in 60 days either. That's a lot. 4,000 hours is a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. But that's how they wean out the junk though too. So in a sense, it's good, you know? But it just has a lot to offer. Last night she played it in videos, except one or after another. Yes, thank you, Mary. Yeah, so I, whenever the hubs goes to sleep, um, I put it, I hit playlist, and then I pick something and I hit shuffle. <laughs> I let it play. I know it's cheating, I know. But then I gotta maintain this, you guys, so. It's definitely harder. Uh, this is what it looks like. It does, oh, it does look like one of those car drying mats. It does. Um, it's, YouTube is not like, hasn't been from, in my experience, I don't have anybody on YouTube that I know or that I collaborate with. So I, you guys have gotten me here. Um, where on Facebook, I definitely had collaboration to help my page grow. Where here, it's just been me. Um, make sure you put shorts in your playlist. Um, so the short, the shorts don't count as hours towards your 4,000. They just, they change that. Um, they don't. Shorts are by themselves. So they change the monetization to 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours within 365 days. And then the shorts is 10 million views in 60 days. I think the most short video I have is not even 6,000 views. Not even 6,000. It has to be dry. Oh, you know what? I meant to stamp first, but that's okay. Actually, I can stamp. I can stamp on this. And then if it's still uh, wet, we'll hit it one more time. It's close. It's close. But in order to put this transfer on there, guess what's using? Can you believe it? <laughs> can you believe it? I know. I was shocked too. What is that? It's got some gunk on there. Finally got my Amazon uh, affiliate uh, stinking. Oh, I got finally got that straight. It was just like broken for the longest time. Um, so that's that's fixed. That's fixed. All right, we're just gonna. Um, I don't know that I want this top part. Is this long enough to? Oh man, it's close, y'all. It's. I was gonna try to cut this top part off. Um. Oh wow, it's like right, right there. I think we can do it. I think we can do it, I think we can do it. This is the Le Courier, Le Courier the French newspaper. Thank you, Summer. The subscription group's gonna open Saturday and our first class will be Wednesday if you're on our email list. Um, uh, and there's post uh, information on that. I'm excited about that. And YouTube is just all kumbaya coming together um do i need all of this i might have to stamp it all any yeah i'm gonna stamp the whole shebangy how long does a video have to be before it counts the video instead of a short oh oh so it'll, it, it anything under a minute is considered a short um anything under a minute is a short and then the shorts are usually labeled shorts they have a little red thing red thing next to them i guess that specifies shorts y'all i meant to use this stuff but I busted out the DIY. I, I don't know. I wanted to go over that with a mat, but I don't. It doesn't look like I need to because I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't know what I'm doing. Ugh. But life is good. Life is good. And I have many of you to thank for that. And many of you have been here since day one. And to me, that alone is like, it's pretty mind blowing and, and, uh, it's like you're, we're family. Like, it's crazy. Some of you, it's like, I felt like I've known you my whole life, but I've never even met you. Ever. Ever, ever. But, I wouldn't change a thing. Alright, I use black ink. Probably going to be too dark. Um, how much is your... So, Sandy, it's going to uh, be $23 um, a month. We are definitely... We're going to meet on... What so, here's... I've been kind of trying to spit out things here and there, but the emails will say more as it goes. Um, hey, Melinda, it's gonna be, we're going to meet for the first time on Wednesday, 
the 5th at 7 p.m. Um, and um, I think I need to do this this way. Um, I need to do it this way. Um, and from there, what I want to do, and actually what I just did tonight is, hold on, I got to think. I can't talk. Okay. I got it down. I don't know if anyone wants to see. Um, yeah, I don't know if shorts autoplay. So um, when when you sign up, you have to use an email. So after the email, you're gonna. Um, this is all gonna be like documented, but you're gonna join. Um, we have a private group, and you're gonna join that group. But before you join that group, you have to answer three questions, and one of them is um, what email. What email did you use to sign up? Because a lot of people's email doesn't match their name. Um, you just dot me too. Ah, uh, thank you, Ari. Um, so, what email did you use? And the other two questions are: What day of the week would work best for you? And what time zone are you in? Because I'm totally flexible. I'm Eastern, so I'll be. Hey, Donna. I'll be. I'm the latest. Um, you went on Facebook and found you over here. Yeah, Facebook did us dirty, Melinda. Facebook did us dirty. So we said, see you later, Facebook. And here we are having a grand old time with no interruptions just yet. Knock on wood. All right, that should be good enough. Probably too good. It's probably going to be too much, but it's nothing. Why is there nothing on here? <laughs> did I not ink that whole thing? Yo, what happened? Why is there nothing there? A little bit up there. Are we in the twilight zone? There's ink on there. Maybe it's not dry. Um, so Wednesdays at seven may be subject to change. Majority will vote. It's gonna be the type of, I don't want a, oh, I don't want that. I don't want, I don't want a group where, and no disrespect to anybody or anywhere or any creator or anybody who's in a, in a yeah, I, I use this all the time. Um, I don't want a subscription group where we craft. Like, I don't want, where the heck is the, hold on. Hold on. Where is it at? There it is. got my cranky pants on. <laughs> I don't want a, a group where we just craft. That's what we're doing here, isn't it? Like, I don't want that. I want it to be, first of all, it's our group. We can do whatever the heck we want to do. So it, it could evolve into who knows what. But I want it to be, first of all, I want it to be a community, a safe place. Um, you know, I got stuff I want to share, but I can't. I don't know who's watching. <laughs> Holding the fort, thank you. You know what I mean? I'm a silent watcher on a lot of people. So I don't know who's watching. So there's, you know, being a more intimate level. Um, I got I got funny jokes. I got all kinds of stuff I want to share with you guys, but I can't. I won't here. And um, just, I don't know, just have that closeness. I guess I got to dry this a little more. Um, but I want it to be technical and deeper dives. And let's just take resin, for example. There's... Right off the top of my head, there's actually, I just learned, look what I just got in the mail, because I never even knew this existed. This Something like this would be something we would do in there. It's flexible resin. When did they come up with flexible resin? No creepers allowed, absolutely not. Flexible resin, y'all. It's flexible after it dries. I had no acting junkie, so he had no stink bugs. So we, we dipped over here. Um, and the group will be through Facebook as well. So it's going to be more like that. It's going to be, you know, if we want to craft together, if we all decide we want to make the same thing one night and do, yeah, cool. That'd be great. But you know what I mean? I don't want that to be, yeah, I was making noises. I don't want it to be just us crafting. I, I, I don't like that. That's not my style. And that's not what I ever envisioned a subscription group to be. Some people might not like that. Some people probably want to just craft. I mean, I don't know. Uh, two years ago, really? You taught yourself how to make flexible. So I, I know you can make it with um, less hardener. I do, I do know that. But sometimes it gets sticky and gooey. 
So I don't know. But just, you know, slow down, answer questions, have time to answer questions, not be in a time crunch. Just There's just a lot of advantages. Do you store your stamps upside down? I do. Well, actually, I stand them like this now. I did, had them upside down for years, but will you let us know ahead of time what your focus is going to be each week? Probably not. I mean, maybe we'll talk about it that... I don't know what I'm doing each day, Summer. I'm going to re-ink this and do it again. It's probably going to double stamp now, but I, I don't care. Um, it's probably something we could discuss. Um, and I, I would have to imagine... You know, some stuff is not, like, you can't explain it in one hour. Um, you know, how much, how many things can you do with a stamp? So many. I mean, you can use paint, you can use a brayer, you can use bleach, you can use ink, you can roll it in clay. Um, you know what I mean? There's just, there's just so much. So, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, we're going to have to see how it, what it evolves into. And, um. And where it takes us. I just, I don't know. I just, I'm excited. I feel like I have just a lot to give. Like, I have a lot more in me to give. And I want to give. And I want to, I just got to get it out. <laughs> I just got to get it out. And I feel like a lot of the stuff I do, um, I do have to give. I can't because it's not that private um, type of environment. The reason. You mean for um, the group? So if you're in the subscription group, then it will be... We're going to try this again. If you're in the subscription group, you'll, we're going to be in a private group together. It's Scrappy's, uh, Scrappy's Master Crew. It's out there, but you have... I don't... I think you have to ask to join, but we're not going to even introduce that until... You got to subscribe and do all this stuff first. So, <laughs> um, but I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to be nothing but good and positive. And one-on-one uh, -on -one type stuff, you know what I mean? Um, but first, out the gate, we got to figure out a time and a day that's great for everyone. And I thought, by hopefully, by putting that question in there when you join the group will help. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do if this doesn't work. We're just going to have to go with it. That's better. Was it wet? Not enough ink? I don't know. That's That's exactly what I wanted. That looks like old newspaper, doesn't it? Old burrito <laughs> fell on a newspaper. Um, uh, but we all know I am not artistically trained. I, I didn't go to school for any of this. I basically learned by making all these mistakes. Oh, yeah, Terry, absolutely. Yes, every every video will be. Yes, every video. Will, so, so here, that leads to good questions. So here's what happens. And I've seen it time and time again, and it makes sense, is you start a group, right? And you have all this material. I love this. This stamp, actually, all these little, these are all individual stamps if you want to take them apart. Um, but I've never taken it apart. I always use it as a whole, but you totally can. Um, so here's what happens. When a group starts, you start um, archiving, you know, videos and information and you know hours of time and you know just inf techniques and information so now you know six months down the road um you know maybe your subscription group's closed you don't want to take any more people in you're going to open it now well now you have to raise the price because um uh, yeah you could yeah you could cut it apart too um but now you have to raise the price because Last six months of knowledge um, that you grew. So, you know, there's that. So that's why almost every single subscription group like that goes up eventually, which makes sense, right? So, yeah, this is a good stamp. I probably used, you guys are probably sick of seeing this thing. Yeah, I don't know how well you can, see. even this little thing right here is by, is its own stamp. This little line right there. that dry before I'll put the lid on and put that over there put that over there oh, I'm so sleepy oh Connie get the rest girl rest is super important go to sleep I hope you wake up feeling like two million dollars get some rest um for you guys that didn't see on Facebook we got these spray pens in yesterday and when I first saw them I thought of grunge and I thought 
how many times I, there we go. I don't know what happened there, guys. Um, I have a tiny, tiny bit of instant coffee in here that I just mixed like I was making coffee, but made it really strong. Y'all look, it almost looks better than, now I don't know how we could get these big things unless you brought a little bit of instant coffee with you because that's how I get those is when my, it's wet. Um, it did just freeze up. I totally froze up. I don't know if it was me or them. Um, but if you just sprinkle like a little, one little crystal of, um, your instant coffee, it'll melt in the, in the water there. So that's how I get those. But this is great for, oh, oh, spray throng. <laughs> this is great for, uh, grunge on the fly, y'all. Freaking brilliant. I'm sure there's a lot of other uses we could think of for this thing, but. They are available on the website. I know they're under tools, but other than that, I don't know where they're at. They're in a couple places because this still feels wet to me. It still feels wet. I think this is our best bet. It's gotta be dry to put this transfer on or it's not gonna transfer. Okay, so I've got DIY patina on there. I think we'll be okay with just that. Um, I meant to put the Pentart matte varnish on there, but I didn't. Um, so I think we should be good. I mean, I, it's off label to put a transfer on fabric to begin with. Um, but we have put them on fabric that was just straight up fabric, straight up, uh, drop cloth. Um, do you find it's easier if you do put a top coat on? Um, use some of your wrinkles for my first. Oh, cool. Um, if you put a top coat on, it sometimes goes down. A little easier but as I always say every transfer you never know what's gonna happen some go down no problem some some problem some are a little tougher than others they like smooth slick clean surfaces um, but even sometimes those are hard because they're you know if you accidentally touch it it's stuck and it's staying it's staying there I'm gonna dry it this way so we can like bend it back out I don't know does that work does that reverse work will it go the other way now I don't know if it works like that. It's blurry too. Does it pay? Uh, does it pay with few numbers? Does it pay with few? I don't know what you mean. Uh, no, they don't like wet. Uh, it's so much less buffering. Um, am I blurry now? Or buffering or any of the things for anybody? All right. I think that's good. I think we're going to go ahead and go for it. I love it. I love it just like this. I do, I do. I'll unplug Janet K. Yes, less watchers, but it's going to take me time to build. When I was on Facebook, there were times I was live. I had one, I had one person on, then I had two pe people on. I'm blurry for you. Did you try to go out and back in? Maybe Joy, try that. But I'm not going to stay on Facebook if Facebook's going to be freezing, and I, for more than half of the people, they're going to be freezing, and it's going to be knocking me off. I'm not, I'm not farting around with that anymore. I'm not, I'm, I'm not. I mean, I still do Facebook, but YouTube has so much more to offer. You made it just go. Oh, Lori, are you okay? I hope you're all right. We're going to use the brocante. Um, and if you guys are not familiar with this, this is the best, in my opinion, the, the best. Um, okay, good. Thank you, Summer. This is the best as far as variety. Because a lot of them are like, um, some of the books, it's eight pages of, of roses. I mean, they're beautiful, but it's all roses. Where this one, as you can see, is just a really, it's just so much stuff. The birds are amazing. Um, but from chickens to Perry to a clock to a sheep. So, okay, good. Thank you guys. Yeah, Joy, try to go out and back in maybe and uh, see what that does. And I wanted, um, I love, you just had surgery. Oh, oh, I hope you have a fast recovery. Um, I wanted something that had a little color in it. So I'm thinking, um, I was thinking one of, I think this one I was thinking, this one right here, possibly that one. Look at the size that be. <laughs> And then, this is my second book, y'all. This is my second book. Look, the tower's gone. The tower. Look at that bee, handsome fella. Handsome fella. If you can, uh, do you happen to catch Mara this morning? I did watch her replays. I don't think I watched her whole, what did I watch? I watched, um, they are beautiful, Donna. You get a lot of me in these. Um, I watched, Oh, I watched her uh, Monday thing, and then I watched Craft Around the Clock. I've gone out and come back in twice. Huh, I'm not really sure why it's doing that for you. 
I don't have an answer. Or this one. I like that one too. This one looks so good on black. You guys remember I did that one on the black croc? And it really like, it popped. It really popped. I love these roses. Those are the ones I did on the 12 by 12. Those are going to hang up in my bedroom. There's two of them. I don't, I must have missed the other one. Um, but those, those are cool. You already used the birds. Reboot your phone. Yeah, maybe that might work. Um, I like that one too. Now I gotta make a decision. Oh, here we go. That's gonna be too big for this, but we could cut it down. That'll probably get lost in this yellow. So let's see if these are brighter. Yeah, Lori, I hope you have a speedy recovery and everything is okay. And that sucks. And whatever, I hope they fixed you. I hope they fixed you. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. I wonder where that other white rose went. I must have used it. I don't remember. Uh, oh crap, can't see. Alright. We're gonna go with this one. This is a one. Maybe put something up here, but let's get this on here. What did I miss? How do you know? You didn't miss much. A Mod Podge and ironed this on. I had to uh still trying to get over COVID. Your son has a viral has a viral video on YouTube. He says, I, I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I glued it on here and ironed it. I tried to stamp it and it didn't stamp too good. So I dried it more and stamped it again. I don't know what a viral video, I couldn't see that whole thing, but I'm not sure what that has to do with anything, but okay. Uh, I don't know if all this is going to fit, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Cut it out. I'm gonna cut it out with my fabric shears. Please, all you fabric people don't cringe. I just needed some scissors. And they didn't have much to choose from, so this is what I got. I love my Tim Holtz scissors, but they don't stay um they don't stay sharp very long. I don't know why, but I love the size of them. Man, this butterfly's got some wicked antennas. So many ideas in my head, I just feel like it's gonna explode sometimes. Oh, well, let me do this upside down. That is not upside down. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see. So we're gonna have to cut how much of this gets all oh, how much gets hey, hey boys and girls, <laughs> how much of this gets cut off? Probably a lot. And think of that it's got a pretty good lip on it pretty good lip on it so 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 i'm gonna cut some of this off the bottom to begin with along with these words i don't think these little flowers are gonna make it in there <laughs> i know don i got issues i got issues, I got issues. that that was really pointless what i just did there like really pointless that doesn't help anything yeah. <sighs> remember watching Rom yes <laughs> yes i do romper room was the best we were talking about chinese jump rope last night that fits good <laughs> yeah don't give us any lip okay so it's about a quarter of an inch. About a quarter of an inch. All right, so I'd rather take off the bottom. That's what I'm gonna do, take off the bottom. You got everything you need to then make a flannel, yes! I didn't bleach a shirt today. It was a crappy, cloudy day, and then it rained. And then I, it, when it rained, like I, was, I kept, I walked out of the shed, I was like, you know, I can smell it and it feels like rain. I was like, it's gonna rain. And uh, sure enough, here it comes, but like the top of the trees were just like, whoosh, you could hear it coming. And as soon as it started raining, it was like this chill in the air. It was crazy. It must have dropped like 15 degrees and it just seemed like a few, few minutes, but it was probably longer than that. All right, I'm going to cut this whole bottom off. Y'all, scraps are gold. I learned that from Miss Mara. 
if you can get yourself a little bin container whatever um and keep them because you'll use them for something but if you start throwing all these little pieces and weird pieces into a bin there's a good chance because you got to leave this white on the back until you're ready to use it because these are sticky it's a very good chance like they can get caught under one another and then they get stuck and you know it's a mess so you can either staple them which i'm out of staples because that's the easiest to do staple them or take some blue tape not a lot just a little i even found the rice paper oh you did brenda that's awesome Donna, I am on Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok. Um, did I say Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok? I'm on all of them, yes. Scrappy's Rustics for everyone. I don't really, um, so just like that, just pinch the ends close. Um, and that will help. I don't really care for Instagram or TikTok too much. However, I, um, I already have the content, like the shorts and the posts. And some things you can schedule to go to a couple different places at once. So I figured I've got the content, why not? But I do not try or go live or do anything like that on TikTok or Instagram. Pinterest, yes, I work Pinterest. Um, Pinterest, YouTube, and Facebook is what I really work on the most. Okay, that's perfect. We'll get this on there and then we can add some things in. Yeah, I love it. Now, here's a trick for you. If, because we're like on a whoop-de-doo, this is not bad to handle, but some of these transfers are big, your images are big or whatever. As soon as you take this off, it's it's sticky, especially if you're putting this on glass or, you know, um, ceramic, like when it's, it's, it's gonna stick, it's gonna stick. Like chances are you're not gonna get it back off. You might, but your chances aren't good. Here's another thing. See how it's white on the back? Not all transfers are made equally, so sometimes you get what you pay for and in this sense is iron orchid designs has the white background so we could put this on something totally black and it will not lose its its color here where some are see-through um you know some crafters do pinterest tv yeah i had the opportunity to do pinterest tv but that was in the middle of like that was like january when i was in the middle of moving and doing this and that and i had to i had to deny it because i just didn't feel i felt like that was a really big opportunity but I wasn't in any position to say, I could have made a real ass of myself, let's put it that way, um, because I just wasn't, I wasn't ready for something like that. So if you have a, a big transfer and you know, you're taking all this time to get it just perfect, well, now you gotta get this white part off. So if you pick it up, chances are you're not gonna get it perfect yet, So um, perfect again. So my, my trick to you is to get it where you want it, peel it back, like hold it down pretty tight here, and I do this with decoupage paper too, because you know, you don't want to lift it back up. So just cut a piece off. Sometimes it's a little tricky, depends on what angle. And then now you've got it anchored down. Now it's going to stay where you want it to stay because you got a little anchor there. And it gives you a lot more control on rolling it this way. Um, it, Cause like I said, some of these are big and you, you can't, there's no way you can get it on there right. No matter how hard you try. Um, so this way, it's exactly where you want it to be. Oh my God, I love this. Love it already. Love it. I don't like it shiny like that, but. Now this is cardboard, so I can't push as hard, but I could probably just end up with a crease in there. So I like to do a once over. You certainly don't have to do this. This is just something I do, which means I'm just going over my whole thing just one time, not every single spot. And then I like to find a corner and work my way down. You got to go slow. I know it sucks to latch because it's, you know, not exciting. But it really makes you look like you know what you're doing when you're oh, when you're done because it looks so good. But if you start in one corner and, like, it's just not, it's not working out. Um, <laughs> thank you, Kimberly. It's not working out. Find another corner to work with. Sometimes you got to listen to the, the transfer. Like I said, sometimes they go down no problem. Sometimes they're going to make you work. In my my experience everyone has always been different always been different um the worst one was <laughs> i did this it was a beet like a beet the fruit of the beet <laughs> it was awesome i did this riser with um um milk paint in uh color um uh, really beautiful color almost the color we did the handles the other day it's like a real deep burgundy I don't think I left the milk paint dry. I don't know what the hell happened, but it was a disaster. I put the <laughs> transfer down, the beat down, 
and it literally like when I went to peel this back the, the paint was like gummy the whole thing was coming up but I was determined to not let it beat me but anyways it was like three days it took me to get that transfer off and it I still have it to this day and I put the word beat down the side oh my god so it had to be something with the milk paint or I don't know what the I don't know but it 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 just would not lay you remember that I literally had to do like tiny section at a time then there was when I did get it down there was like air bubbles and I had to stick like a pin in it and mat it back down like oh man that was pretty wicked but I, I really liked the way it came out but I yeah the only thing I can blame it is on the on the milk paint all right so when you're doing a transfer you can see it's coming off this carrier sheet onto our surface now if you get if you miss a spot oh, that's why you need to go slow you can't rip this off like a band-aid because it would just be terrible um but uh if you miss a spot if i were come and they had the tree guys um taken down the i guess on one side of the road they're going to be doing um i guess running the fiber and they're going to have like fiber stations um, so that's exciting. That's really exciting. Now, when that happens, then I should, well, depends on how Facebook acts, but then I should be able to go live on multiple platforms at one time. Now, if that's not using your time well, I don't know what is. But the Starlink doesn't seem to be able to handle that. I mean, I don't know for certain. I'm assuming it's the Starlink. It very well could be Facebook as well, but I don't. I'm thinking it's, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But um, I'm willing to wait. I'm willing to wait for uh, the fiber. And it's going to be by the end of the year. We are phase one. Sorry, I just got to hit this again, I think. Here we go. Um, so that's pretty exciting. I pre-registered for it. It's only 100 bucks a month for two, uh, I forget what it is, the top package. Um, the best speed and all that upload, download speed. Uh, Donna, have an amazing night. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. I hope you are following and got your notifications on that so we can party again, maybe tomorrow night. Probably tomorrow night. <laughs> so have a great evening, great day, all the things. We only got one little space left here. I think I'm really flattening the cardboard out. I can feel it. You know how it's got those little rivets? I can feel them like rolling over them. I'm mowing them down. One little spot. And bam, Ooh, not a stinking thing on there. So fancy word, burnish, just means make sure it's down. I, I use my fingers. Some people use this or the white part or a paper towel. Oh, look how pretty that is. I love it. It's cute like that, but we need a little birdie or something. Could make like the petals fall off. we're just going to go for something bigger. something bigger. Let me see what that butterfly is all about. Because there was a butterfly right here beside it. You guys see that one? That was right. This was right here. The bee's kind of large for that. <laughs> the sheep would just be weird. That one's kind of good. The sheep would just be weird walking by. Lois, you get some rest too, girl. I hope you... Wake up feeling like a million bucks too. Million and a half, girl. Million and a half. <laughs> she bad ass. <laughs> That's right. I like the bees, y'all. I like the bees. I like the bee. Oh, you know what? These kind of go together. You know what? Oh my god, my legs. Oh. Oh, I forgot I was going to do this other project. I got the transfer me. I got the transfer me down here. Um, I want to see the, this is the millets. We got a whole page of butterflies in here. Looks like, pressed. it does look, it does look like it's pressed, doesn't it? I love that look. I want to see at the butterflies. We don't want no mushrooms. This I love. You have all these tapestries in my bedroom. Well, not the fish. Not this one. But I have a bunch of these. Uh, that thing. Oof. Pumpkin. Hey, pumpkin. I am what I am. I love these eggs. 
I feel like I want to do these eggs just like on one, just one picture, one poster like picture. The colors are outstanding. There we go. The colors are outstanding. And then we got fish, fish and sharks and stuff. <laughs> um, got anything purplish, greenish, purplish, bluish, bluish. I like that one. That one might blend in with the coffee dye, though. Hold on. There's a glare. There's a glare in my hair. What do you guys think? I don't have such a decision. I got to make a decision. <laughs> I suck at decisions. All right, we're going to go with that one for sure. Should we do two? How about these two? Yeah. Good choice. Great idea. Excellent choice, you guys. Thank you for the help. You did good. You did good. At least had the names of them of every butterfly beside it. I can't read it though. <laughs> that's purple. That's blue. It's okay. Doesn't have to be matchy matchy. Doesn't have to be matchy matchy. Whoa! Use some big old scissors. Uh oh. Can't make that corner. Oh, you have great eyes. That's awesome. You guys rock. Okay. I really like that one up there, but I think it's bottom. We'll just drown in the coffee color. All right. Where's the easy button? Where's the easy button? You guys look. Peeled this off of the other night, but we were in a hurry. So. I got another lace mold from Amazon. I tried to put it in my Amazon store, but I, it wouldn't come up. This one wouldn't come up. Um, I put the heavy body gel in there. Like I did, I don't know where my little piece of lace is, but anyways, I put it in there. Y'all, look at this. It feels like um, when you're sunburnt really bad and you peel like a big old thing off of somebody's back. <laughs> that's what it feels like. Like that's exactly what it feels like. Now, I guess, I don't know if all of these holes are supposed to be covered or see how some of them you can see through. Um, I don't know if you can see like there's there's three holes right there. So I don't know if you're to clean all of these little doodads off. So it's you can you know what I mean? So you have holes there or it's supposed to be covered or a little bit of both. I don't know. But um, this is amazing because this is the heavy body gel. This is what I don't understand is how does it dry so rock hard? To hold on to metal stuff and hold metal stuff in place or dry so hard to do the raised stencil but then if you put it in a mold thin like this it's it's weird it's very weird I mean this will stay I mean I don't know how long it's gonna stay flexible like this but how pretty is this gonna be you know what I mean on something I'm <laughs> wrapping the box so I, it's gonna be pretty cool and it gets paintable but it feels just like sunburnt skin if you can get over that part so I got that giant mat I haven't peeled yet. It's a big one. We're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to do that. Anyway, <laughs> so that heavy body gel is like a workhorse. Um, it's just, it blows my mind that it does, it does one thing uh, one way and another thing another way. It just doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, so yeah, how's it do that? Why'd it do that? Yeah, I know, like, I, I wanna, Tonight with that, but then I couldn't figure out with decoupage paper. All right, we're gonna go like that. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing, y'all. Like this, and like this. Go like this, and go like this. Easy. Ugh. Now I should, I should put another um. Sheila, my sweet friend Sheila, was simply simple creations by Sheila. Um, I should put a layer of something on top of this, which I will. Actually, I will. I was doing one as a kid, putting glue on my hands. Yes, Kimberly. It felt like that coming out of the mold. You guys want to? You want to take the big one out when I'm before when we're done here? Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? <laughs> it totally looks like there's nothing in there. Like it dries. It seems like if it's if you have it thick, 
it dries um, like opaque because it's supposed to be matte and clear. So it seems like if you have a big wad of it, you can kind of see it. It's like opaque, but this doesn't want to go down. Um, if it's thin, it dries. Doesn't it, like you can't even see it. I'll show you the big mat. And at first, the, with the real shallow parts dried, I thought, oh my gosh, did I miss? I might have missed. I don't know. It looked like I missed, but I don't think I missed when it was wet. No, this one's being honorary. This one's being honorary. I gotta be one in the crowd. Always gotta be one in the crowd. Come on, you sucker. Come on, sucker. I'm smashing the cardboard is what I'm doing. All right, let's go over to this guy. Let's see if his brother act any better. His brother act any better. Y'all, if you're not following Miss Sheila with Simply Simple Creations by Sheila on the YouTube, you need to. Uh, she's trying to work her page too because uh, the book face is not being nice to her either. <laughs> the book face. Y'all, that's funny. That's funny. That's what we're going to call it from now on. The book face. This one don't want to go down either. What happened? The flower went down good. What the freak, man? Go down. Go down. You got this. You got this. I got it. 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 I got to talk dirty to it. Talk dirty to it. <sighs> Stuck at the <laughs> one little tiny itty bitty. Brr. Got it. Oh, I think I got his tore his leg off, but that's okay. that's okay. He don't need that leg. He's flying. Yeah, I got a huge dent in this cardboard. I can feel it. I dug a hole. I dug a hole in the cardboard, guys. That's funny. That's funny. Oh, dear. Um, we are going to meet back here tomorrow, guys. Same place, same station. Same back channel. So if you are on my Telegram... Oh, oh, the link is in, oh, the link is in the description. Uh, I don't know what's in the description. If there's a description at all in this video, then my, my telegram link is in there. And when I go live here, I can let y'all know, but you can also try to turn on your notifications while you're on here. Yeah, I got a big dent in there. I don't know if you can see the dent. Holy crap. It worked though. That's perfect. Icing on the cake on the cake oh my gosh i could i could see the dent. <laughs> all right let's put this bad boy in i'm not gonna paint the frame it's wood it's this is crooked that's got to be changed obviously but uh we're going with the wood if we can get this foolish thing in here we're going with the wood look and then down the road if we don't like it we take it out and we paint the frame do something else you know you know how we do. We're creatives. We do whatever we want. How's it look? Oh, I love it. I can make stuff like this all day. Like last night's project. That was a little... Uh, I had a lot of trouble with the cardboard last night. Like a lot of... I had more trouble than I should have cut in cardboard. Uh, but that project came out cute. That came out cute. What's going on here? just fluffy oh the cardboard's bent the cardboard's bent and these are like whatever the things they use to put these in they are like very strong tough as nails i could have cut this cloth off but i didn't i didn't gives it more snug well i might have to cut that off if it's a problem when i try to hang it i'm not gonna hang it like that but <laughs> i gotta put a hanger on it i'll put a little sawtooth i'll take these out Put a little sawtooth in there. Uh, watch the reflex. I had a, last night was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Is it upside? Look at you guys. It's upside down. What a dipshit. There we go. There we go. There. Now you love it. <laughs> Lori said it's pretty. Lori's just out of the hospital. All, all medicated. Oh, Trace, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's upside down. Ding dong. Um. Okay, let's uh let's rip the skin off of this thing, shall we? And that was the brocante that we used, the brocante. Don't forget the likes definitely helps Tracy. Yes, give me a thumbs up, likes, share me, do whatever you can. I need it all. I need it all. I'll send me a bill. Well, do whatever I gotta do. Send me a bill. All right, you guys ready? I hope 
I gotta show you what it looks like first. And, oh, I forgot to put the glass in. Actually, I don't want to put the glass in yet anyways, because this is, I guess I don't need to seal. It's kind of still a little, it needs to air out overnight with all the DIY stuff and whatever. Um, the butterflies have too many adult beverages. Um, maybe I'll put the glass in. I don't know. I actually forgot that I had glass, to be honest with you. So. Here it is. Now you can see the product in some of the spots, but some it looks like there's nothing in here at all. And I don't, I'm not really sure why you can see it in some spots, in some spots you can't, but see how it's like white, especially right down the middle there. I don't know, it's probably gonna be hard to tell with the glare. Like right there, it looks like. This can be cool. I'm gonna take it. I guess I'm gonna lay it on this thing. I don't know. What the heck am I gonna, oh, that's what I was thinking I was gonna do with this. So hear me out. I've got another one of these and I, when I bought them, I, I got them from Hobby Lobby online. I thought they had glass in them and I was going to do transfers on them and see they don't have glass. I don't dare bring them back to Hobby Lobby because I can't be trusted there. So that's why I still have them. This one, I was just farting around with the, um, the brick stencil, just trying the different mediums. This is modeling paste, grit paste, iron paste, and this. This is the same stuff. That's This is what trips me out. This is heavy body gel. See how it's like opaque, but see how it's hard as a rock and it's raised. This is the same stuff we're using here. So the one I have out in the cargo, or maybe it's in here, but anyways, I, I plexiglass to get for this is way too expensive um, because it's not squared off in the back. See how this one's bigger? Like, I don't know what to do with this stupid thing. So now I'm thinking if this works, what if we put this like we'll have to put it on cardboard or something but it could be like lace you know what i mean through the window obviously it won't be pink but i don't know whatever we paint it <laughs> so i don't know it we'll see let's see if it even does anything because um i don't know what it's gonna do this is the first time i've ever done this and uh i don't even know where to start i did start to peel it up here just because i was it looked like there was nothing there. So let's see. I guess I gotta get it started the whole way down. Now these are intended for um, fondant for cakes. So the heavy body gel, the modeling paste, those two products, I'm sure there's more, but those two I know for sure, um, if, if used in a mold would be a mold like this, like a really shallow mold. I don't know what would happen um, if you did a deeper mold with this, I did a deeper mold with the, um, the modeling paste, but what happened was because it's like, um, a paste, it ended up getting air in it. And, um, so when you took the mold out, there was a lot of missing parts, you know, so like when you have clay, you could smash it down in there, but with the paste, you really couldn't, unless you got some kind of like squeezy contraption, then maybe it would be okay. But it, it it didn't do too good. And the modeling paste also remains flexible. That's, um, I got that down there. I did that not too long ago with that, um, thicker lace, um, as a, as a frame. I still don't know what to do with that thing. It's still half done. All right. We're almost there. Yo, it just looks even like these little holes, these little pinholes. It looks like there's nothing in there. Doesn't it? Like you can't see any product. It's the weirdest thing. All right, here we go. It's really like peeling skin off. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Y'all. Look. Look at it already. Oh, that's the back side though. That's the good side? I don't know. But look at it. Ooh, all right, let's get it off. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this all by myself. Mm -mm -mm. It feels just like sunburn peeled skin. <laughs> Somebody with third degree burns from the Florida sun. They didn't put enough sunscreen on. They stayed out too long. <laughs> uh, this looks like a plastic. Holy crap. It looks like a plastic um, lace table. Your grandma puts over the, the good, the good coffee table or the good, um, what do you call it? 
The good, uh, I can't think of the name of it. <sighs> Cover the windows of the piece. Yes. Um, the good side is face down. The good side. Oh, it is face. Yeah, you're right. Look how pretty this is. Oh my God. Tablecloth. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. It looks like it feels like that plastic that goes over, over the tablecloth. And it feels like uh, sunburned skin. That feels more like skin. This one's a little thicker, I think, because it's got more, um, yeah, like doilies. It's got more texture to it, more ups and downs. I feel like I'm stretching it, but I also feel like it's kind of squishing itself back into shape. I don't know if there's a better way to do this. I've never done this before. I don't know. I feel like the farther I go, the harder it is to pull it. So maybe this will work. I had no idea this was this big. Would alcohol make it look like stain? It might. Yes, this is heavy body gel. Isn't that crazy? And that heavy body gel is the stuff in my last few videos where this bird, this bird is suspended by heavy body gel, like a big wad of it. And he's heavy. All of this, um, wood beads this thing all of its heavy body gel because it, it's used like a glue um it's self-healing it feels like it's self-healing um yeah so why it, it just it trips me out because i we i mixed it i took the heavy bot because i tested it I, I took the heavy body gel and i mixed it with navy blue acrylic paint um and used it in a raised stencil that came out awesome it's actually in the window on plexiglass and the sun doesn't even like go through it then I mixed it with mica powder, did a raised stencil. That was, I was a little heavy handed with, so that kind of bled, but that worked. Um, used as a glue. Um, what else do we use it for? This, um, something else. Something else I can't remember. I think I said the same thing last night. I couldn't remember what it was. I can't remember. All right, we're almost there. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I had no idea this was this big. I wouldn't have ordered it had I known. Uh, it would look pretty. I, that's why I'm thinking that might be the answer to that window frame. You know how long I've been hanging onto that stupid window tr frame? Well, that one, I just put bricks on it. Now I don't know what I'm going to do with it because I just thought it'd be a good idea to put the product on <laughs> there. Okay, let's see. All right, we got a little like trimming to do. Like it's got a little extra fluff on the bottom where it was like I went extra on the sides like freaking now I guess I don't know did I miss there or should those be holes I don't know I'm, I'm guessing I missed I don't, I don't I don't know but see the extra like flashing that was on the other one too but that's just when you go out over the mold you can actually see it on some of the parts so I'm guessing no uh, there's no there's no rhyme or reason to these holes so I'm guessing more product next time Cause this this part is pretty much flawless except for the bottom it does look like a placemat um where this side is a little lighter i mean i'm okay with that because if you were to well you can paint this right or if you didn't want to paint it you could put it behind a color um new suitor get down um i don't know what that says you could just leave it this color and put a color under it but that is really, really beautiful. And I feel like you can't see the holes as much when there's something behind it where they really stand out. Um, uh, thank you so much. How are you, Rihanna? Welcome, welcome. So that's pretty cool stuff, y'all. And then th there's this one. So this, I think, would be great for our smalls. I, like I said, I don't know what we're going to do with this, but um, <laughs> it's like batten. It, uh, it's beautiful you can feel it like it has texture like we can individually cut these roses out absolutely that's how much how defined they are they're very raised oh that is so that that is so thin that part right those parts right there look how thin that is that's crazy wow that is cool stuff anyways i'm glad you could i'm dying to do this so thank you for watching <laughs> you're killing me 
This one I had to rip out the last one, but y'all left and everybody missed it. Um, but this one too, I guess that's the same thing with the holes. Either you cover it all or you don't. So that one looks cool. Again, you could do the same with that. I think I, I, I don't know. It looks pretty cool white too. I wonder if you could use a small squeeze bottle. Well, what I used was um, the IOD um, squeegee. I used this thing and I just kind of plopped it on there and worked it down into the thing. That's why I thought some of it dried so quick that I thought I missed because it was, you couldn't, it didn't look like any product was in there. This one too, see how these sides are deeper? This is pretty shallow. This dried and I thought I missed. I'm like, I know I didn't miss there. Um, I don't know. It's just pretty cool stuff. It took 12, at least 12 hours to dry. Um, it, it gets sticky. Um, and then it dries. So I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that our project is cute. I do know that I'm thankful for you guys. And I'm glad that the book face, I'm kind of glad it screwed up tonight. And we all ended up on over here, all kumbaya and I all. So <laughs> I appreciate your time. I'm going to do my best to be back on here tomorrow. I don't know what time, but if you are on my Telegram, you will get a notification. And um, if not, I'll put on a post, but it doesn't mean you'll see it. So um, thank you, guys. Thank you. I really enjoyed this. I love I love, I love, being over here. I really do. Uh, I discover the good stuff. I, because I got to know. I got to know what, how it works. What's it, what's it doing? What's it, how does it work? Is it any good? Yes. All right, you guys, thank you again so much. Have an amazing night. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Hump day. Have a great Wednesday. You guys, stay safe, and uh, see you soon. Bye, guys.